Hello, it's 8.21 p.m. on June the 4th of 2021. And um, we're looking at this. The Gates Land Holding by States. 268,984 acres. That is what is held by the Gates people. That's how much they hold. Hello. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. So I was sitting there looking at that. You know, I've heard that um, he owned a lot of land in America. And I thought, well, how much land does he own? And so he owns approximately 242,000 acres. Um, and I'm surprised that the government let him buy the, all that land. Normally, the government should be the largest landholder in America. It really should. If you think about it, with all the national forestries and all that stuff, the government should be the largest landowner and not just a private individual. Where is Elon Musk where, when we need him? You know, he can, he can do something about that. You know, his voice, when he speaks, the world listens. <laughs> it does. I think he's an alien. I think he's an extraterrestrial, you all. If anyone is an extraterrestrial, it's probably Mr. Musk. I wonder what a planet he came from. I really do, because, you know, he wants to go to Mars anyway. He's interested in space, but look... Come on, we need you, Mr. Musk. We got all this, this person, this one person's got all this farmland. He bought it all up. But <laughs> the, the sad point is he's got to split it with his wife. He's got to split his acres with his wife. And I don't know how he feels about that. I really don't know how he feels about that. So with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do about it. I really don't. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so, so strange. It really is. But he's one happy man. Yes, he is. Uh, he's got some beautiful farmland. Yes, he does. Let's look at this, you all, because we can look at that if it will let me click into that. Look at that share of federal land ownership. Okay, so now this is what I was looking for. I was looking for this. So um, the Forest Service owns 31% of the land. Uh, the Bureau of Land Management, 40%. Uh, Fish and Wildlife, they don't own that much, 14%. That's, this is not 2015. Uh, National Park Service, wow, only 13%. And Department of Defense, only 2%. Um, well, um, they said Uncle Sam is the largest landowner. And that's interesting. That really is interesting, you all. If you think about it, absolutely it is. We're going to look at another map because we can look at it. There's no reason why we can't look at it. But this is so long ago, you all. Look at this. Um Proportion of foreign-held agricultural land, all privately held agricultural land. This is 2011. Foreign-held private, private land. Uh, I wanted to see that. I really did want to see that. I can't see who owns it. They're not saying who the orange is, you all. Somebody owns some land here. But those are older numbers, it is. But, Mr. Gates, you owned all this. And I don't know how old that is. So with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world, hello from my heart to yours, in case I didn't say it. Well, I said it now. I did say it now. I want to know um, who, if there's any, uh, the biggest foreign investor who owns uh, land in the U.S. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? It really would be interesting. Um, but I guess if you've got the money, honey, he's got the money to buy that land. Actually, it was his company. He had a company. He owns, look, is he the largest farmland? And there's like something with the Washington State acreage and other recent additions to his portfolio. O'Keefe has calculated that Gate now owns 242,000 acres of American farmland. Oh, okay, so this ain't just trees. 
He's not just farming trees here, you all. No, he ain't. He ain't got these up and down hills and these mountains. He's got farmland, actual farmland that can be, um, you know. He's the co-founder of Microsoft. Later, he has an alter ego, O'Keefe he wrote. O'Keefe. <laughs> Farmer Bill, the guy who owns more farmland than anyone else in America. You, we got to look at this. So who are the top 25 landowners in the United States? So let's look at this. So we have the Singleton family, 1.1 million acres. The Irvin family, 1.25 million. Brad Kelly, 1.5 million. The Emerson family, 1.86 million. Ted Turner, 2 million plus acres. Uh, John Malone owes 2.8. 2 million acres now see okay well if they're the biggest ant landowners then why how can he be the biggest farmland okay i guess there's a difference between the farmland you all and the land owner um well it's it's called sustainable investing he he does like a sustainable world he, he really does uh and this is his company sustainable investing um, so look at that. So January 2020, this land report um, called Leading Harvest. The organization's goal is to create a sustainability standard that can be implemented across the greatest swath of agricultural acreage. Currently, more than 2 million acres in 22 states and an additional 2 million in seven countries are represented. Among the participants are 13 member sustainable agriculture work groups, Saturday's partner, Hancock National Resource, the uh, Rohatan Group, UBS, Farmland Investors. Look at that. Bill and Melinda, they have no ties whatsoever to this cascade or its investment. It has a farmland initiative, Gates Ag One which has established its headquarters in the greatest St. Louis area. And they will focus on research that will help the smallholder farmers adapt to climate change and make food production in low and middle income countries more productive, re resilient, and sustainable, you all. We're going to have sustainable um, agriculture. We are. They're going to do this with the 268,984 acres that of farmland that he's got. Well, then look at this. This is really strategically located when you look at it. It really is strategically located. Uh, I don't see Iowa on here. I see Nebraska, Wisconsin, yeah, this is, uh, it's all right, I guess. It's all right if that's how he wants to spend his money. You go ahead and buy that farmland up from those farmers. <laughs> when they um, go into foreclosure, you just go on there and you just get it. Yeah, you all. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know uh, what's going on. I know that everything leads to something else. It's like a big, a big chain of events that is taking place, you all. Uh, yes. Um... Who in the region, it's a monopoly. You know, it's like playing the game of Monopoly. Why, why did they even bring out that game of Monopoly? Who can own the biggest, uh, whatever they were, cards, states. Did you know that one time the mining companies, they had cities. They owned the cities, the towns, the, the, the areas. They owned everything. They created a utopia for their record, for their workers. Uh, these big corporations, these big mining companies and other type of corporations, they they owned the entire towns, okay? Everything about it. They owned it. They even had their own currency back in the 1900s. Uh, they, they tried their hand at that utopia, creating these like smart cities or whatever. I'm sure it was really nice. You, you gave them all the animities uh, and luxuries that a person would want within a city, but still, people were prisoners there. They they were. They it didn't work. It it failed. 
Um, they might try it again. They might. Um, and perhaps this time it might it might succeed you all. It might succeed. It really might. Uh, but in the meantime, it's okay. I, don't, I really don't know what's happening. <laughs> I really don't, you all. Oh, my gosh. What? Jeff Bezos? You own... You own land? Isn't... Well... Wait, I thought Jeff Bezos. Was he Amazon? Was Jeff Bezos the Amazon man? Um, yeah. Your screen says only one watching. Um, well, I, I, I'm seeing 174 people watching and a thumbs up of 74. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who Jeff Bezos was. Is he Amazon? Because that, that'd be interesting. Um, I know I've got a, a, a lag behind. Yeah. Um, oh, that's Mr. Sasquatch. That's kind of violent. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, that would hurt. Uh, that is not nice. You might have to go to the hospital and get surgery, Mr. Sasquatch. You need to get that wildness put back in you like that. Now, you can't be talking like that. <laughs> that is not nice. So let's see about Jeff Bezos. I didn't even know he owned farmland. Um, and John Malone, whoever that is, uh, this is uh, 2019. Uh, well, we know Ted Turner. There's something about Ted Turner, too. So spanning over 3.5 million square miles, the United States is the third largest country in the world by land mass, trailing only China and Russia, while over a quarter of all land in the United States is owned by the federal government. What? Only a quarter? You've got to be kidding. I thought the government owned more land than that. Um, here is a look at how much land the government owns in every state. It's vast swaths of country are owned by just a handful of individuals and family. Okay, my screen just did a little number on it. My screen did a little number, like kind of like darkened itself a tad bit. Yes. Oh, wow, you all. A handful of people? That's not right. But then it's this life, okay? It's always been that way throughout history. The Land Report Magazine, 2018, 50 largest landholders in the U.S., and they're based on information, 50 individual families and heir on this list, over 31 million acres or 1.4% of the country's total land mass. Uh, one square mile is equal to 640 acres. Did you all know that one square mile is equal to 640 acres? I did not know that. Uh, so this was like from 2018. Look. Um, uh, let's see where it's at. The vast majority of the land held by individuals and families on this list is located in states west of the Mississippi River. Now, why would that be? Why do they need land located west of the Mississippi River? Why why would they want that? Uh, land west of the Mississippi River. Land west of the Mississippi. I'd like to see what land that is. I'd like to look at it. Oh, that we got the Louisiana Purchase. Uh, see, now this ain't, um, I just want to see it, you all. I want to see the, see the map. The land west of the Mississippi River. Um, hmm. The local, let's see, 1830s Removal Act, Relocate Indians. Look, in 18... 30s, Jackson used the Indian Removal Act to relocate Indians to lands west of the Mississippi River. So I guess this is where they got relocated. West of the Mississippi. That's interesting. It really is. And look at this. Uh, the Louisiana Purchases C... That's really strange, you all, that they, it's right there in this area. Why would that be? Does anybody, 
got a clue of as to why that would be? Okay, is that the is that the future map of the flooded out areas? Is that what you're saying? Lands west of the Mississippi. So let's look at that. Uh, the naval flood map. Naval flood uh, flood map. Let's see if we can pull that up. Okay, we're going to it right now, you all. So, parts of America that could soon flood. Well, then we have this red area, though, up here, and then we got lands west. So, west is over that way, you all. North, south, east, west. So, land west, that would be this area because all of this area is going to get flooded out. See, this is the future map flood, flood map. I can't really, um, I can make it a tad bit bigger. So they got that land. I'm not quite sure where the Mississippi's at, you all. I really am not. There's the Ohio. I'm trying to... Okay, there's the Mississippi. This is the Mississippi right here. Okay, there it is right there. So they own land west of the Mississippi. And um, this is the flood map. Okay, that's why they bought it. Because it's the flood map. That's right, you all. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. They're very intelligent. Look at that. West of the Mississippi. Let's go back to them. So, the vast majority of the land held by individuals and families on this list is located in states west of the Mississippi. The most common exceptions to this are rural parcels located in Maine and Florida. Let's go look at the flood map in Maine and Florida. Okay. Um... Okay, I don't know my states that well, you all. I know Maine's somewhere over here, and I know that's Florida, but there's only a tad bit of Florida. That's oceanfront property that, right down there. Maine and Florida. So look at look at this, you all. Is that, I think that is, uh, no, that's New York. So, okay, let's look at this. And you know what? I didn't even know what I was going to do a video on. I just came up here and I thought, well, I guess I'm... I don't even know how I got gates in my mind, to be honest with you. Because I literally, I came up here and I was going to look... I was looking at the land owned by these companies. And then one thing led to another. But let's look at this. So, while this list only includes the privately held land, nearly all of it serves in some commercial purpose from farming, ranching to logging and renewable energy production. Not only do the private land holdings on this list generate income for their owners, but also real estate itself is a valuable commodity. Not surprisingly, the people on this list rank are among the wealthiest Americans. And here's a look at the richest person in every single state. The Hardly family. I don't want to look at that. The Lydia Galt and Miriam, the Lee family, we got them here. They're massive farmers here, biggest farmers around where I'm at, if they're related. Babbitt, Kilman, Conehart. Um, we don't want to look at that. This is all the biggest families in the whole United States. So, yeah, look at that. But you know what's really, this is, it really uh, is a telltale sign when the vast majority, there's Jeff Bezos, is that him? Right there. Yeah, that's you, Mr. Bezos. You've been a very busy bee. Yes, you have. Let's see where you got. We want to know what you're doing, Mr. Bezos. He is the founder, and he's not only one of the richest men in the world with a net worth of $109 billion dollars. 
At the time of this writing, he is also one of the biggest private landowners in the United States. 420,000 acres, much of which is west of Texas. They got it west of Texas, you all. West of Texas. So you got Wyoming, Colorado. Probably we should have been looking at that. Wyoming, Colorado. Um, where's this one at? California. They got some in um, Alabama, Florida, and Oklahoma. Look at this, you all. So, yeah. The Badlands. Somebody got land in the... Oh. Louisiana. This is really interesting. Uh, so we could we could do that. So they got their land. They've already got their land purchased in the west, toward the west of the Mississippi. For when the the land does start its flow, it flood mapping. They got the flood maps, you all, uh, because they're going to be secure. Even if money is worthless, at least they got land. Uh, then everybody in here is like, oh well exactly right all of it wonder when that's going to happen you all when are we going to see the um the flood happening let's see where i'm at um i'm going to have some oceanfront property because i'm going to be about right there i'm at a high elevation but then this would have to be um an earthquake uh i guess the new madrid earthquake would bring that about and or something else Look at that whole area is gone. Got like swallowed up. Uh, look at all that, you all. <clears throat> yeah. The future map. You know, they, don't, they did not make this maps out for no reason. Something's going to come on. Something's going to be coming. And, you know, they all kind of varying a little bit, but they all got something going on in the middle right here it all sometimes it's big in the middle sometimes it's small and then some part over here but still this land west of the mississippi is uh mr sasquatch did you did you want to buy a speedboat gina well no mr sasquatch i got me uh, a little aluminum flat bottom boat it's like a, a 12 foot boat i need to put some silicone on those little uh <laughs> rivet things those little boats on the bottom of it make sure it don't leak on me and i got some i got some oars i like to paddle <laughs> okay i like to paddle mr sasquatch i wanted to have some smooth um i don't know smooth sailing without sails i don't like speed boats they kind of scare me they go a little bit too fast so you're gonna have to take that you're gonna have to bring me a sailboat mr sasquatch because that's yeah that's what i want a sailboat I don't want a canoe because I might tip over, okay? I might tip over and not be able to get myself back up is what I might not be able to do. But, yeah, so, you all, that's really interesting. I'm really, I've learned something. I really have most of the land is west of the Mississippi. Wow. And what's west of the Mississippi is... Well, it used to be the Indians. They moved the Indians there. Look, it's in between the Rocky Mountains, too. Oh, they, it's perfect. Shielded by the Rocky Mountains, you all. Um, I thought they said, I, I looked at this and I thought it said Canaan, like the land of Canaan. <laughs> I did. Caltech. Caltech? Caltech purchases 827,000 miles of Louisiana. Did you all know that? We got to look at that. Come on now, California, Caltech. Oh my gosh, you all. We're just learning some stuff. 827,000 miles of land west of the Mississippi to house freshmen? You need that much land to house freshmen at colleges? Does that make sense, you all? No, look at this. Now look at this, you all. So today, Caltech administration celebrated the history's biggest real estate deal, which gives the Institute more than 800,000 square miles of land, including the much-desired Mississippi River. The 
auspicious. Purchase cost approximately four cents per acre. Well, they got a really good deal. A steel. The land spans from the Mississippi to the Rockies and contains many, many natural features such as turtle ponds and beavers. Okay. To the Rocky Mountains. Well, you all, I've got to admit it again. I don't know where the Rocky Mountains are. The Colorado Rocky Mountains. Okay, there we go. Right here. So they've got that land. I, I still, I think that's too much land. Uh, 800, well, how many acres of land in one square mile? Was 600 and was it? No, I don't know. 640 some odd acres. Look. The fertility of the country, its climate and extent promises is due season, important aids to our treasury and ample provision for our posterity and widespread field of blessings of freedom, freedom, said Mr. Jefferson. So that's all they have on it. It's ripe with lush forests and fertile lands, perfect for grazing, farming, and endless student housing. The acquisition promises to make Institute very wealthy. There will be additional new environmental science lab. Oh, look at this stuff like that. You know, there's they're, they're, gonna, they're probably going to be building something else there. They probably will be. Um, well, that that's a that's a sp prestigious college. I'd like to know where that article is written because I can't really see. Okay, here's when it. See, they're doing it all ahead of time. See, they're just getting ready. Everybody's getting ready. All the game plan. Everybody's getting ready, you all. They have gotten ready. Mark Twain. Yeah, so... Hmm. There, look at that. It's perfect. See how, see how perfect it matches to the... These flood maps. Let's find a good flood map. Well... Whatever it is. Wait, what was the map that I was on, you all? I was at some kind of map right there. The Indian Removal Act right there and Caltech. Caltech and the Indian Removal, where they got rid of the Indians. Um, yeah. There's nothing much we can do about this, you all. Nothing at all. Um... I guess he who owns the money owns the world and rules the world. You know, when um, Mr. Musk speaks, um, people listen. They do. He's got, he's got more power than most uh, governments of the world. He does. That's why I think he could be some kind of form of extraterrestrial. Um, he's um, intelligent at times, and he's funny at times, and uh, he just... He don't even fix himself up at times. He really don't. He goes with his hair all messy, and he don't care. <laughs> why should he? You know, why should Mr. Musk care? But, um, yeah, I'm sure um, this is all strange, you all. It really is west of the Mississippi. So we know that, okay, it's a given that there is going to be some kind of event, a catastrophic event that causes flooding and splitting up of landmass. And the powerful people of the world um, have bought land west of the Mississippi right here ahead of time. They're all set up. I'm sure they're all set up, you all. They're all set up because, you know, they got a lot more to do once all of this stuff right here takes place. And it'll probably happen within our lifetime uh, if we're not dead before then. It really might. Yeah. Did you know they are trucking emergency coughings to all emergencies to all states um, at least two months and is still going in routes? Um, no, I didn't, but I remember seeing. Um, Yes, the aftershave you can trust. Absolutely. Mr. Sasquatch, you really do need that. Um, you need that, okay? You really do because you really could use a good shaving. You really could. Uh, and I would do it for you, but you'd tear up my shears. You really wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to cut nobody else's hair. I wouldn't. 
And then if I tried to use my scissors, well, your hair is so rough, uh, it would dull the blades on my scissors. Not to mention my hand, it would, it would be crimped up and I wouldn't be able to cut your hair uh, because it would take more strength in my hands than what I've got. So Mr. Sasquatch, I'm sorry, you are on your own with that. You are on your own. You go cut your own hair. <laughs> yes, you all, that's exactly right. Yes, Google has control of messages and who to cut. They do. They have absolutely um, control. Uh, I'm going to tell you they do. I've, I've, I've experienced it, you all. <laughs> I have. It's all right. Uh, at least we uh, have this time that we do have. Uh, so we can be thankful for being able to come on here like this together. We can be very thankful. I am thankful. Um yes you all yes you all so we know that we started off with mr gates and his land holdings by state he has the largest farmland but you know he don't what's he got land right okay he don't own any of this well we need to compare this right here with the flood map Okay, well, um, so maybe he's got his farmland in the right spot. Maybe he does. He might. I think he does. He's got his uh, maps in the right place, his land in the right place. Yeah, he, he, he's good. He's good to go. He's, he's made the right purchases, you all. <laughs> he has missed. Mr. Gates has made the right purchases of land, okay? That's what I think he's done. He's done it too. They've all done it. Every one of them. That's really interesting, it is. So, yeah. Look at Tiowaki, the end of the world as we know it. And we are at the beginning of the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> whether we like it or not. And there's nothing we can do about it. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> no, it's not wonderful. Uh, well, we can do something about it. We can, um, we can continue forward in grace. We can. That's right. Ride out the storm in grace and dignity. Absolutely. Grace and dignity. We can do it. Um, yes, we can. Yes, um, yeah, we can lighten up. I don't know what's going on in those comments section. King of Hucho Mundo, Apple Brooks and Old Rider, and is Demetrius here? I haven't been looking at this. Yes, uh, no, he's not here. Well, he's just missed out, you all. Yes, that's right. That's okay. So we've learned one thing. We've learned lots of things. We learned something new about the land. I had no clue, none at all. I've, I've been hearing that Mr. Gates was a large landowner. Demetrius, okay, I like to see you there, yeah. Uh, uh, the only thing I ever heard, I kept hearing people say that Bill Gates is buying up all the land. Okay, he's got the land and it, it fits according to the, the maps, the flood maps. Okay, he's got his land in the right spots, I think. Yeah, he does, except down here, he's going to lose some land right there. But he's probably got some insurance on it. And um, we have the largest landowners uh, who all have land. The vast majority of the land held by individuals and families on this list is located in states west of the Mississippi River. And the reason they're located west of the Mississippi River is because of the flood maps, the future flood maps. This is the Mississippi. This is the land west of the Mississippi River. They, they are already planning. They are. And um, Caltech's got some stuff going on there. They're probably the only college around. You think so? Probably. It's all right. It really is all right. You all, I'm, I'm about getting drained <laughs> i'm getting drained but that's okay that's uh, that dancing with mr t dog you wore me out I, I, it was kind of hard to dance to it but i did it so thank you t dog mr sasquatch you bought quite a lot of forested region 
<laughs> you bought a lot of fortune reasons last year. Yes, I'm sure you did. Uh, you're going to need them. We, we, that's why we, you bought them for us. That's why we're coming there. We see we're going to move west also. And okay, what about that left behind? Not left behind. The, um, the day after tomorrow or that there was this one movie where they all had to flee because what was coming, it was the meteorites or the tail of Nibiru or something. Uh, it was coming. Uh, and they had to get their self, I don't know where they went to Colorado, maybe. That's west of the Mississippi. All of that, you all. Yeah. There's all kinds of strange things going on in Louisiana. There's all kinds of strange things going on all around the world. Yes, you all. Well, I am going to go, you all, and I, I didn't know what I was going to do, but yeah, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad we were led right to these maps and the land west of the Mississippi. I am so thankful. I really am. Uh, because look what we saw. Uh, we saw what they did. They, they're preparing ahead of time. And they got the land. They're going to do the farming. They're going to do it all. So with that being said, you all... You have a wonderful rest of your evening, and thank you so much for joining in. This is this is really interesting. It was to learn about this. Um, the link, please. Well, um, that's kind of difficult for me to do right now because I'm doing this live stream on my cell phone, and I can't put the links here right like that. But you know what I can do. Uh, when I get off of here, I can log on to the YouTube on this laptop. And in the description, you'll have the title of the video. And then below the video, you'll have a description. I can put every single link that I've got opened up here. Every single tab that I've got open right here, I can put this for you all to see. That is not a problem. Not a problem at all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you, um, Danielle. I hope you're having a wonderful um, rest of your day, too. Yes, love you all. And yeah been good. It's been very informative and educational.